I had been working on songs for the new album, of course, since I had written my last album, Nothing's Forever. Um, as a songwriter, you just keep piling up the stories and, and putting them in your little box to save for later and work on them. And I had called around to a few studios to develop the, the project and the idea and the schedule. And I got an email from Bill Warner in Nashville asking if I'm working on another album, if I'd like to do it with him. And thought, well, this is an interesting opportunity and interesting outreach. So I called Bill and we connected right away. And all of the things that he was saying about what he wanted to put in the album, what type of album he wanted to work on, uh, very Americana, very much what I do. I just felt like I needed to go down there and I needed to work with him. And he's worked with some great artists down there. Dolly Parton is one of them. Uh, Reba McIntyre is another. So he had some names uh, that of people that he had worked with. Of course, that's impressive, but that wasn't really what drew me to his work. It was more what he was, that he believed in the music and the project that I was doing. Uh, Dad and I actually went down there together. Dad sings on some of the pieces on the album. I uh, just booked a flight and met Bill, and we recorded with him in a studio uh, where all of these musicians in Nashville record. The studio is just a little house, and met the drummer that we were, I was going to play on the album, met the bass player and the guitar player. It's the same guy, and we sat down together and uh, worked through the songs. They were really enthusiastic about it, and it was so much fun to see these players be able to take an idea that I had and lyrics that I wrote in my living room and say, yeah, 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 that's what we're going to do, and get on the drums and get on the bass and get on the guitar and, and really bring them to life. And Dad and I were just like sitting there with our mouths open, like, can you believe we're doing this? This is so cool. And what's funny and cool about Nashville is it becomes a small town once you're, you spend some time there. And a funny story about that is we went to, we had done a session with Bill in the afternoon and we went to a Time Jumpers show in uh, at Third and Lindsley in Nashville where Vince Gill played with them. And they're just a group of musicians that play at the Opry and things like that. And we had a, a wonderful night just listening to this great kind of old time country music. And we went back to the studio and talked to Bill about it. And I said, you should, you know, we saw the Time Jumpers, it was so great. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I know those guys. I was gonna have the accordion player maybe come and do a few tracks for you. And I was like, you're kidding, you don't, you know him? And the next, when I went home, I got a text from Bill a couple weeks later with the, the accordion player for the Time Jumpers playing on my tracks. So we just, you know, when you're down there, you're surrounded by all these great musicians and we got access to them and, and they're, uh, you're gonna be so impressed. I'm so impressed with the playing on this album. It's really been fun, so. <laughs> One of my favorite songs on the album uh, that we're going to release first is Work, Work Girl. It's a really fun, uh, grooving song that I wrote when I was actually uh, shoveling scoria in our driveway. <laughs> and the basic theme of it and the driving force behind it is that sometimes a girl just needs to roll up her sleeves and get the work done herself. And I think that it's a reflection of what a lot of women feel, especially out here in Western North Dakota, women are actually able to stay home and, and work and keep the house and things like that while their husbands are away maybe in the oil fields working or of course the way I was raised, uh, working in the fields or uh, on the ranch. So we are in there with them and building a life together and uh, teaching ourselves to drive the truck, you work the chainsaw, things like that. So it's a really kind of fun, catchy song and it's inspirational and connects with the women, I've been performing it uh, quite a bit uh, around the state and I'm getting really positive feedback about it. So I'm really excited to do the video and perform it on the stages uh, across the state and get some feedback there. Some of the songs on the album are a little bit more driving, a little bit more rock influenced, and that's come from the work that I've been play doing with a local band called Outlaw Sippin' out of Dickinson. And that's not something I've typically done as a musician. I've grown up as a folk singer and a folk duo and a solo artist. And these guys called me up and asked for my help because they needed a girl singer and they started playing my music. And then I've been influenced by their style too. And so the album, 
the songs on the album are really diverse. They're quiet when they need to be quiet and tell a story when they need to tell a story, but they're angry and rocking and when they need to be that way. And I'm really excited about that. I think there's something for everyone on there and they'll be really fun to play live. The actual story about the song Northern Lights is a story about how we almost lost our dad last winter. And it was a really harsh uh, slap in the face about how fragile life is. And it was one of those cold January nights. My husband and I got a phone call from him saying, you need to come and get me. I think there's something wrong here. And we had to drive down the road and load him up in the ambulance and just uh, hold our breath the entire time, hoping that we we're going to see him again. And it turns out that he was he had like a 3% chance of making it through this ordeal where his heart was leaking into his chest, basically. We have all of these stories of people that we love and sometimes we need to, to tell them and make us feel like we're on the same page, feel like we're not alone in that kind of struggle of being human. So I sat down and wrote Northern Lights based on that flash of hope that you see in the sky and the lights that you see in the sky on a cold winter night. How it can be that cold and there can be that many colors uh, is pretty inspirational to me. So. Dancing on the edge of frozen fields If you need to leave, be gone You need to stay, my God, hold on I know this and northern lights have to be real 